Hi, my name is Spencer, and today I'll be reacting to the Star Trek Strange New World Season 2 official trailer that was released yesterday, I believe. Last video, I reacted to the teaser trailer, I believe that's what it was. I mean, it looks like a lot of fun. I enjoyed last season. Uh, I do know that we will be seeing live-action Boimler and Mariner in this trailer, uh, which is exciting. I've been very excited to see how this crossover is going to happen, like... What are the circumstances? Like, is it time travel? Is it a holodeck? Like, what, what's going on there? I don't think we'll get an answer to that in this trailer, uh, but I've been very curious to see how it's going to work uh, with with that ever since they announced it. It's just, it's just so exciting to, to, to think about. To, it, it will be so exciting to see. I mean, based on the last teaser trailer, uh, it seems like the season's going to be a lot of fun. I hope I hope it'll continue the momentum that they've established in season one and maybe even improve on some things that would be great i don't i mean i can't think of anything specifically that they could improve upon but i mean there's always room for improvement so if there are things that change for the better uh then sweet that'd be cool but i i don't want to put too much uh in terms of expectations for improvements i guess i don't know i, I as long as they maintain what they've had I think I'll be okay. I think I'll be happy. Uh, to those of you who are new to the channel, I want to say thank you for, for joining. I apologize for not having posted anything in a while. It's just, I mean, there hasn't been any new Star Trek content uh, as of late. But I also just, I don't know. I, I finished the semester at school, and I've been enjoying the summer break. It's nice to have some time to myself and some time to just relax. I want to be able to produce more content. It's just hard for me to motivate myself uh and i don't know there i have certain things that i've started in the past that i still haven't even finished on this channel uh, particularly umbrella academy i have not touched like i haven't even wa I watched the first episode reacted to it posted it haven't watched anything else <laughs> of the latest season not of the first season but um and my issue with that is that, well, I've gotten so far, it's been so long, and besides that, I feel as though uh, there weren't that many people interested in my reactions to that, so I don't know if I want to keep watching and reacting to that, but I don't know. I still have to post the, my last reaction for Stranger Things, which, like, it's been almost a year since, since the fun finale of stranger thing the last season of stranger things came out so yeah i mean i've had it recorded haven't edited it haven't posted it at post posted posted it and i've just the the further the further behind i get on these things the harder it is for me to want to try and make new content because then i'm like ah oh, but i've got this other stuff and i don't know it's maybe it's mental illness <laughs> keeping me from continuing uh, with those things and trying to come out with new stuff but I, I would like to come out with new stuff is what i'm trying to say is but i would like to come out with new stuff it's just i'm i don't know what to do i don't know if i should go back and finish what i started before before getting into some new new stuff but i don't know i don't know let me know what you guys think i should do but anyways i've gotten way off topic here and i'm excited to get into this trailer uh, but before I do, don't forget to like this video if you like it, and if you have anything to say about the trailer or anything else, Strange New Worlds, I guess, uh, please put it in the comments. I appreciate your thoughts, and I appreciate uh, being able to interact with you guys if I can. Uh, also, if you're not currently subscribed, but you like this kind of content, I would appreciate it if you would consider subscribing. It really helps me to stay motivated to get these videos out uh, in a timely manner, uh, and it helps the channel to grow. Also, I plan on reacting to this new season of Strange New Worlds when it comes out, so... If you would like to see those reactions, feel free to subscribe. But anyways, I think I've rambled on for long enough before getting into this, so I will go ahead and do that. You're gonna start the engine sometime soon, Erica. <laughs> Don't worry, I did this a hundred times during the war. <laughs> See, I don't mind that, that for Erica Ortegas. Oh what? Our job. 
puts us up against death. We might not like it, but we do have to face it. Hold on to your saddles. We are explorers. It's easy to forget how awesome that is. That's the mission. It's what we love most. I have this crazy theory. <laughs> I love a crazy theory. What does this mean? I don't know. Shut up. Oh, okay. Do you know the odds of all of us being here at this time? It's improbable. And yet, here we are, together. Surprise! Nice. Live long and prosper, Mr. Wendler. <laughs> you also live and... <laughs> oh, that's gonna be so much fun. Okay. I do want to sort of scrub through it and like because I know I've I missed I'm sure I missed some things or like they were too quick and I just couldn't like I didn't I didn't see what what was going on so I'm I'm gonna scrub through it like I did with the last trailer but yeah I mean it looks like a lot of fun my first these are my initial initial thoughts looks like a lot of fun by the time by the time it got to the to the Boimler and Mariner scene I had kind of forgotten that it was going to happen. I was just like so enthralled with what was happening already in the trailer. Yeah, I mean, a lot. I'm so, I mean, it's it's got me, it's got me hooked. I'm interested, let's see. Okay, so we open with the shuttle crash and this bit of Captain Pike expressing <laughs> to Ortega's like, hey, uh, you can land this, right? Uh, and I, I will say I really like that they they made it so that Erica is has sort of a nervous laughter. She's like, cause like, if you just showed me her like smiling like that, I'd be like, okay, why is she? I don't know. I, I've had my issues with Ortegas in the past with her quips and one-liners that she's that she's given. Uh, that I don't really think are necessary. It doesn't really, I don't know. It's just, I don't know how, why it bothers me so much. It just makes me cringe, man. It makes me cringe and I don't like it, but I, I tolerate it and hope that it's, I hope that it'll grow on me at some point. Uh, hope, I hope that we will be getting some more of Ortega and her backstory and yeah, give me, give me a reason to care about her, you know, it's like, it, it like to me at this point it feels like she's just more of a like she's there to just I don't know I don't know how to describe it like she she's she's just been there in the background or to the side like not really playing a huge role in my opinion and you could disagree with me it's totally fine I understand that I may be in the minority with that but I don't know it, she just is just there. Uh, and it doesn't really work a lot of the time for me. So I'm hoping I'm hoping this season will rectify that, will fix that for me, help me to like her more than I have. But we'll see. Uh, but but with this scene, uh, I really like her her nervous laugh. At least that shows to me that she's not just this cocky, self-absorbed pilot that's like, oh yeah, I can do anything, you know. Give, give me some more like human vulnerability from her and and uh, that's that's what i like about this intro to the trailer uh and and it seems like she's smiling through the nervousness like she's trying to, to put on a brave face um but maybe she, maybe she is enjoying this a bit too much i don't know but i i like this opening scene for the trailer uh, I'm curious what the context is, like why they're crashing to Earth or whatever planet this is. Uh, we've look. It looks like. I mean, I'm skipping over a short little clip of her just like looking in disbelief, but don't know what that could be about. Uh, we've got this planet. It looks like it's got Starfleet on it. 
Who is this brunette? Someone that we're supposed to know. Like, part of me wants to say that she was in season one, but I could be wrong. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to make a fault a, a wrong guess and then make a fool of myself. That's the problem. But I think she's the one that's like kissing Pike later in the in the trailer. For a second, when I saw that kissing thing, I was like, "Wait, is that number one? What the heck? Ew!" Then I was like, "But then I was like, wait a minute. Maybe it's not number one. Maybe it's this other brunette character." So uh, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what's going on on this planet. It looks like some sort of an like an alien invasion or something. It's a dark cloud. Number one's back on the bridge. Uh, so, so apparently that's going to get all sorted out. I mean, we knew that from the previous trailer that, yeah, that's all going to get worked out, but still curious how that's, how, how it's going to work out. Mostly because, and this is just probably just me being a nitpicky, but at the end of last season, we were met with the possibility of Pike surviving his accident and making contact with the Romulans instead of Kirk. And in that timeline, number one was still imprisoned, right? So, assuming that Pike did everything in his power to get her back, what makes them think that this Pike, accepting his fate, doing everything in his power to get her back, is going to do any, is going to make any difference? I, I don't understand why that timeline's Pike couldn't have number one, but this one can? I don't know. Like I said, maybe I'm just being nitpicky here about this time travel timeline shenanigan shenanigans. Uh, but well, maybe we'll see. We'll see, I guess. And maybe that'll just be a gripe that I have forever because they don't explain it. Who knows? We'll see. Anyways, uh, next we had we have some dramatic explosions. Looks like we will be getting some more Lon and Kirk. I don't know how I feel about Kirk. Maybe when we see more of him, it'll be easier for me to accept this actor as Kirk. But like, I just, I don't know. I have a hard time putting his face onto the Kirk that we know and, and love, you know? Like I can get behind Chris Pine as Kirk, but I don't know. This guy's face, it just doesn't really, I hate to say it. It doesn't, it doesn't really fit with my image of Kirk, you know, if that makes any sense. But maybe maybe they'll change my mind. Maybe they'll maybe he'll grow on me. Like, we'll see. We'll see. I hope I hope he will. I hope I'm not frustrated by the casting choice as as this goes on. Uh, we got Mbanga throwing down. I'm excited to see that. What was? Okay. What is this? Interesting. It looks like I don't know what to, how to what. Okay. Um. This is a dumb theory. And, like, I am totally okay with being wrong. Could this potentially be some smooth head Klingons? I'm just basing this off of the outfits. Because I can't think of what else... I mean, just based on what we've seen of Klingons in the past, this could just be a totally new planet, new, new people that we've never met before. But, like, just like the outfits and the goatee facial hair from this guy... Totally giving me smooth head Klingon TOS vibes, but could be something completely different. And that's just my first impression based on just these few images <laughs> that they're giving us here. We've got Pike deflecting a blast with like a platter of some sort. I mean, he looks like he's in like a medieval type of thing. When I first saw this tiny clip, I was thinking like, oh, does this have something to do with like the storytelling episode with Dr. Mbenga and his daughter in season one? But I was like, eh, there's no way they would be able to go back to that, right? Or to revisit that fantasy enterprise. I don't know. I don't know what that could be. Because also it doesn't look like Pike is wearing anything medieval. Uh, it looks more of like, more. it looks more of a modern outfit. Maybe it doesn't, I mean, it's not obviously like a Starfleet uniform or anything, but still, I don't know. We've got Pike and La'an maybe trapped on a planet, on a, like an icy, snowy planet of some sort. Well, she's handing him like a, a scope, and maybe that's them finally 
receiving help. Finally, like the Enterprise showing up to rescue them. We've got spacewalks. Uh, maybe like an alien on this spacewalk with Spock. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that's supposed to be. We've got some alien phenomena. We've got Spock with the Klingons. Fantastic. Uh, love, love his. Yeah. Great. Uh, looking forward to that. Uh, looking forward to seeing who this new chief engineer is. Uh, I mean, I feel a lot of people are like, like, oh, she's a famous actress. Never heard of her. Never seen her in anything. So this is my first experience with her. Hopefully it's a good one. We'll see. But yeah, I'm, I'm curious how, how this new dynamic's going to be. It looks like she and Uhura are, have some sort of, are going to have some sort of uh, relationship, uh, like talking relationship at least, like acquaintanceship. It's going to be hard to replace Hemmer, but we'll see. We'll see how this, how this works out. We've got like an Enterprise. I mean, it might not be the Enterprise. I'm just going to... Kind of hard to tell. Burning, uh, flying through space. Uh, looks mostly destroyed. So we'll see what the circumstances for that are. We get some. We get some Spock and Chapel. Let's go. I'm so so happy. So happy to see some some romance. I love love this relationship. Even if it's not. Even if it doesn't last. I'm totally cool with that. I mean, I'm not totally cool with that, but I am very happy to see them kissing <laughs> i ship it so hard then we get a shot of spock like doing some punching and kicking and i don't know what the what that's supposed to be is he like like he could just be throwing a tantrum i don't know i don't know what else it could be it looks like a tantrum to me i'm excited for badass and manga uh excited to see where that goes and how how that'll how that'll be okay it it is this brunette officer kissing pike and i'm i don't know her face looks familiar enough that i'm like okay we probably did see her last season was she the the one that he was with at the beginning of last season with like when he had the beard that's my best guess uh but my brain wants is telling me that that uh, that that person was older than this person like she seems too young to be that same person but i could be i could be wrong i like to see kirk intermingling with this crew more then we get of course the uh mariner and boimler surprise uh it's exciting no idea how they get to here it's weird to see jack quaid with purple hair uh, <laughs> i will say that and i and i'm very i don't know i i want i want them to do a good job of translating these characters from cartoons to live action and i really hope they do a good job of doing that we'll see though i guess uh, i I'm, I'm optimistic i i really hope that they that um jack quaid and tawny newsome can really bring the funness of their characters <laughs> into this season so we'll see into their ep this one episode into this live action episode that they're doing also it's nice to see mariner with her sleeves rolled up also i'm so used to seeing jack quaid as huey from the boys that it's weird to see him smiley and totally different than like i can i can like his voice i believe it as boimler but like it's i i don't know we'll see we'll see how that works out not sure how how that's going to translate here for me only knowing him from the boys i'm looking for anything else significant because i don't want to have to go through every single frame by frame like i i feel like you guys would get bored of that and i don't want to i don't want to do too much with that I mean, there's like this weird spinning sequence with the Enterprise and some Klingon ships. At least I think those are, they look like Klingon ships to me. So I'm curious, what, it's like psychedelic. I don't know if that's supposed to be psychedelic or if I'm just interpreting it that way. Then we get that final scene of Spock telling Boimler to live long and prosper and Boimler not being able to return it because he's too nervous. Fantastic. Yeah, that should be fun. I'm excited. I uh, hope you guys are excited. Uh, let me know what you guys thought about this trailer. Let me know if you agree with some of the things I've said. If you disagree with some of the things I've said, that's okay too. I, I understand. But yeah, I'm super excited. I mean, it's coming up soon. Uh, June is right around the corner. But I believe that's all I have to say about this trailer and about my expectations for the season, this next season going forward. I hope 
that you guys will stick around uh, for those reactions. But if you don't, I understand. But thank you guys for watching this. Thank you for being here to support me. Uh, even if I haven't posted in a bit, uh, thank you. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys when, when the new season comes out.